Oh, she's so cute, I can't stand it. When we first found you, you were so little. And the world was so big. You weren't ready to live on your own in the wild yet. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You needed a home that was just your size. Our scarf. I have rescued rabbits. I have never had my face licked by a rabbit. You were so teeny, you barely moved the scale. You needed to get much bigger before you'd be safe in the forest. Let's see if we can get her to eat. But at first, you didn't trust us. That's okay. But then... She has now figured out that this is where the milk comes from. You were asking for food every 30 minutes. Let's get some milk. Not so afraid of us now, are you? We weighed you every day. And that scale was moving now. Say hello, I'm very awake today. I am almost twice as big as yesterday. You needed more room. The scarf wasn't your size anymore. So we made you your own little meadow in a kiddie pool. We gave you places to hide, just like in the wild. Where did you go? We think you liked it. Yeah, you liked it. Then one day, you didn't want milk anymore. Guess you wanted rabbit food. And people food? And soon, your meadow got too small. You were growing up faster than we thought. So, we built you a hutch. And you made yourself at home. You were a bunny on a mission. And that mission was finding all the best hiding places. And now we knew you were too big to live in this house. It was time. We brought you out to the forest. At first, you just sniffed. We were wondering, would you like these sticks? But then, you always went right for what you wanted. We knew we'd miss seeing you in our house. Our little bunny who lived in a scarf was finally home. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.